If you've seen the headlines about Meta's new Ray-Ban display glasses, here's the cut through. I'll show you what they really do on launch day, what's still rough, and whether you should buy them now or wait. First, the basics. Meta just announced its first consumer Ray-Ban glasses with a built-in heads-up display on the right lens. Price is $799 in the US, and that includes the Meta Bear Neural Band Wrist Controller. Sales start September 30 with wider regions to follow. This sits alongside two other lines. Updated Ray-Ban Meta glasses without a display, and the sport-focused Oakley Meta Vanguard at $499 what the display actually shows. Turn-by-turn -turn directions, messaging and quick replies, live translation snippets, notifications, and simple widgets like timers or calendar peaks. Think bite-sized AR cards you can read without pulling out your phone. Reviewers and Meta's own briefings describe a waveguide screen on the right lens that overlays bright text and simple visuals in your field of view. How you control it. There are three inputs. Voice with Hey Meta for queries and commands. Subtle taps and swipes on the frame for quick actions. And the new Neural Band, a wrist device that reads tiny electrical signals from your hand to trigger gestures like pinch to select or scroll. Voice is still the default, but the Neural Band makes silent control possible in noisy places or when you do not want to talk to your glasses. The display model keeps the classic Ray-Ban look while adding a 12 megapixel camera, five microphones, and dual open-ear speakers for calls, voice prompts, and short video playback. You can take photos or 1080p clips hands-free, post to Instagram or WhatsApp, or stream short POV updates. There is a capture LED so people know when you are recording. Under the hood, these glasses run on Qualcomm's Snapdragon AR1 Gen 1, tuned for always-on voice, camera capture, and that lightweight HUD. Practically, that means faster wake, more responsive assistant calls, and lower heat than earlier models when you are only glancing at cards or snapping clips. As per battery, expect roughly a workday of light use and several hours of mixed camera plus HUD before you need a top-up, with the case providing many more hours for on-the-go recharges. Early hands-ons and Meta's materials point to a scenario where frequent short glances barely move the battery, while continuous nav or video capture drains faster. Day one, use cases that already work, commuting and walking. Say navigate to and get turn cues in the corner of your vision while music plays through the frames. The HUD is bright enough for outdoor use and designed to stay readable in sunlight. That quick glance beats staring at your phone every block. Messaging and quick calls. You can see who is pinging you dictate a short reply, or tap a canned response. For short calls, the mics pick up your voice without sealing your ears, which is safer on the street. Live translation. Ask for translate to English, and you get simple phrases and captions on lens while you speak. It is not solving diplomacy, but it is good for menus, transit, or basic conversations. POV capture for creators. Recording from eye level is still the superpower. The display model adds on-lens prompts, so you know you are live and how long you have been rolling, which was guesswork on earlier models. Microtasks. Set a timer while cooking, check your next calendar block, or glance at a to-do. The win is fewer phone pickups. What is new versus the non-display Ray-Ban Meta glasses? The older line already did voice assistant, capture, and audio without a screen. Display turns that into a two-way experience. You are not just speaking into the air, you are seeing confirmations, directions, and snippets in place. If you only want POV video and music, the cheaper non-display models will still serve you well. If you want on-lens context and fewer phone checks, display is the step up. How the neural band changes things. Wrist-based electromyography sounds sci-fi, but in practice it makes a difference in quiet spaces. Imagine scrolling a message thread with a slight finger movement while you keep your hands down, or pinching to take a photo while your other hand is on a bike bar. The band is water-resistant and ships in the box with display. If you hate extra wearables, the frames still work fine without it. The LED indicator remains. You should still avoid recording in sensitive spaces and always tell people when you are filming. 
The HUD is private to your right eye, but anyone beside you can hear audio at close range since the speakers are open ear. If you are privacy conscious, use wired earbuds for calls in public and keep capture short. Limitations to expect on day one. Field of view is small. You get glanceable cards, not cinema in your glasses. Do not expect full screen videos floating in space. Brightness is strong for text outdoors, yet color rich content is still best on your phone. Treat it like a companion display. App ecosystem is young. Navigation, messaging, translation, and capture are the core today. Rich third-party overlays will take time. Battery reality. Continuous capture and nav will drain faster. Bring the case for day trips. Who should buy now? Commuters and travelers who want hands-free nav, quick translation, and fewer phone fumbles. Creators who already liked Ray-Ban Meta Capture but need on-lens status and prompts. Early adopters who want to test the neural band and give feedback as the SDK and apps grow. Who should wait? If you mainly want a wearable camera and music, the updated non-display Ray-Ban Meta glasses are cheaper and simpler. If you're focused on fitness recording and stats, the Oakley Meta Vanguard is built for that world and integrates with Garmin and Strava. Where this is going? Meta is positioning display as a stepping stone toward fuller AR, a path that also includes future premium models. The idea is clear. Keep the frames stylish, keep interactions glanceable, and let AI do the heavy lifting so you can look up, not down. Bottom line. Day one Ray-Ban display is not replacing your phone. It is replacing dozens of small phone pickups with quick, contextual glances and hands-free control. If that sounds like a daily quality of life upgrade and you are comfortable being an early adopter, it is already useful. If you want full AR movies in your field of view, you are a few generations early. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more updates on this topic.